Hey guys, Retro John here, and today I am going to bring you the review of the new Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe line. I'm calling this Wave 1, folks. Yes, we received many, and I do mean many, Masters of the Universe, many figures in the Mega Constructs lineup, but they've always been a collaboration of other figures. This time around, Mega Constructs is giving us an actual Masters of the Universe lineup. Starting off with Skeletor, Stratos in his red vest, Evil Lynn, Mossman, and Prince Adam. Now, the one thing you'll notice about all of these is these look like, with the exception of Stratos, represent their filmation appearance. And we'll go over all the details on that as soon as we open these bad boys up. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that right now? But first, let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, so the packaging, as you can see, looks a lot like the uh, vintage film, uh, vintage Masters of the Universe packaging, complete with the red bursts. Uh, we have the figure in there in the uh, forefront. And along with his accessories and what looks to be a brand new minifigure stand. Um, I'll do a comparison on those as well. And of course we have the name of the character at the bottom along with some picture of him in the corner. Turn it around. And we have all the figures that are in the lineup. This might be my only gripe with the back of the pack, the packaging in general, is it's just this brown cardboard, kind of bland, you know, not as exciting as the front, as you can see. But you can still make out the figures, even though they don't have their signature names. So we have Evil Lynn, we have Mossman, we have Prince Adam, and we have Stratos. Skeletor is not on the back because, well, we have him in our hands. So now, let's go ahead and open these things up and take a look at each of the figures inside. Okay guys, as I was getting ready to open these, I kind of noticed something interesting. I would have normally taken my little pocket knife and cut around the edges. And it was when I was getting ready to do that is when I noticed these have little pull tabs on them. That is awesome. I think that is incredible. I've never seen an action figure um, package do that. Um, I haven't tried it out. I thought I'd go ahead and try it on the camera and just see how well this little pull tab works. So let's give it a try. So I don't want to spill everything inside, so I'm going to open it this way. And we're just going to pull the figure open. And wow, that actually opens really well. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you got a little things here to do, but I mean, that works really well. So I'll go ahead and open the rest of these up, and then we're going to go ahead and go over the figures. That's really cool. Okay, guys, so here we have our mini figs out of the packaging. And for basically being a new set of repaints... These are actually really good and got quite a bit going for them. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these now. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Skeletor. We'll move these guys out of the way for now. Okay, so Skeletor, as you can tell, is a repaint. Um, but this time around, uh, we have the Filmation version of Skeletor. How can you tell? Well, he has the Filmation Havoc staff and more of an animated color blue skin tone and the boots. In fact, this would be my first issue with this figure. If we're going for the Filmation Skeletor, he should definitely have the other boots. Uh, other than that, um, he has the same articulation. Uh, all these figures are going to have the same articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Uh, the arms um, are going to go out like so. They're going to go all the way around. The waists will turn. 
and their legs do move. I'll get him off the stand. <laughs> uh, his, their legs do move out, uh, like so, forward and backwards. They got good knee bends there. So all in all, a really good minifigure. And of course, they um, all the packaged ones comes with a uh, stand. In fact, these stands are different from the stands that we got prior. Uh, they were originally a couple of extra pieces that you had to put together. These are one solid piece. I kind of like that. So, and of course, you can just stand them right here on the stand. Put their accessory in their hands. And there you have your Skeletor. Uh, I really love the bright uh, face there. That's supposed to represent the bright yellow skull. Skeletor in the filmation. That's really cool. Uh, all in all, this is a really awesome Skeletor figure. Now, we did get three other Skeletors uh, in the line so far. Let me go grab them real quick here. All right, and we can use these guys for comparison. Okay, so here we have our Filmation Skeletor. Uh, here we have the first Skeletor in the line. It's supposed to be more based on his vintage action figure. Uh, the next Skeletor we, we received was a Skeletor with the Wind Raider. Trying to get him focused. There we go. Of course, he has these. So, you know, I messed up. This, I'm sorry, is the uh, Skeletor that we received with the Castle Grayskull. Because he has the other half of the sword there. And this... This is our Wind Raider Skeletor, I believe. This could be the Wind Raider Skeletor, too. I, um... I'm going to be honest, I lost count of which is which, but they're all pretty cool. Now, you'll notice the ones that um, don't come in packaging don't have the special stands with them. They'll have these generic little stands. So, and there is our Skeletors. Okay, so next up, we've got our Filmation-styled Evil Lynn. How do we know? Well... She's done, she doesn't have yellow skin. <laughs> so Evelyn has the same articulation as Skeletor, so I'm not going to go over all that, but I will go over all the details. Um, this is just awesome detailing here. Uh, I think she turned out really good. Um, my only beef is her magic staff. And I'll go grab the other Evelyn for comparison here. And voila, here is our other evil in. I will bring them up so you can look at them both side by side. Um, this one being based on her the vintage figure, this one being based on the filmation. Now you'll notice this version of the Havoc staff here uh, has painted on like a claw. It's, it's You can see it's a translucent pearl on top. This just has a lot more going on for it. As opposed to the straight up, non pearlized, almost dark purple orb right here. And it's got nothing going for it. I would have liked to at least had this one glow in the dark or something. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I think this one should have this Havoc staff. And this one should have this Havoc staff. <laughs> But that's just me, and I may end up switching it around. But here are your two Evil Lynn figures side by side. All right. Whoops. Next up, Stratos. So here we have us another uh, repaint, basically. Not even a complete repaint, uh, just another uh, variant. 
So this is our Stratos with the red vest and blue wings. Uh, with that being said, it means he'll also have the blue, the, I'm sorry, the red uh, jetpack, which is rubbery. Uh, but he does have the same staff of Avion. And I do enjoy this staff. I think it's very, very cool. And this isn't a filmation version. This isn't even the mini comic version, which I believe we're getting later on, later on in this lineup, which I'm excited. Huge fan of the mini comics and the um, characters inside. Uh, so th this is just a variant. And I do have the other Stratos. And yeah, he is. Uh, so yeah, you could see that this is essentially just the same Stratos. Um, this Staff of Avion, I'm sorry, is actually not it. Oh, there we go. It has a little bit more of a gold metallic to it almost. To where this one is a little bit more bland, I'd say. Really a little more shiny. Hmm. Um, but yeah, if if we're going for more of the uh, filmation or vintage style, it would probably be this Stratos right here. This is the uh, first style Stratos. This is the second one, and you can see they're the same figure. Uh, same backpack, same wings. Um, same everything except for the beard here. And the wings and the vest. So... Uh, still really cool to have because they this, this is a representation kind of the vintage figure. One had a blue vest. They did release another one with a red vest, so that was really cool. Not sure why they did that, but they did, and still pretty cool. So if you wanted to, this could be your regular Stratos, and this one could be one of the other Birdmen. <laughs> so, <coughs> there you go. Next up, we have Mossman. Now, this is a variant. This is, I won't say a repaint, but I'll say a, a um, this is a, a deflocked Mossman. Yes, because we have had this figure before. He is not new. Um... The other Mossman that we received was from a, uh, with a Sandy, it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. He came with battle bones and he was completely flocked and he had a different weapon. So we have this little club here, Spike Club. I'll just go in his hand right here. Get him to focus. There you go. And I just so happen to have that other Mossman figure. Now, this Mossman has his normal club. He is completely flocked. So when we bring up the other Mossman, you can see that the two are not in focus, there we go, are now in focus, and they are essentially the same exact figure. Same belt, same uh, wrist gauntlets, except one is flocked, one isn't, and you'll notice this one comes with a different club, while this one comes with his vintage toy club. So that is uh, quite interesting that they went that route. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is really one for those who missed out on the exclusive uh unfortunately he is not flocked uh if you're a talented creative individual who likes to custom i suppose you could flock this one but you know it's completely up to you both of these are really cool and i'm really happy to have both versions in my collection now The one figure that can count as being different. A non-repaint, kinda. This is our Prince Adam. This is essentially the newest character in the line. <coughs> this whole buck, this whole body has been reused multiple times, not only for He-Man, 
but we also got a couple of faker figures. So, whoops. So with this figure, uh, the only thing different is he has his vest, his Prince Adam vest. Of course, he has his pink sword, and he's painted different colors. He's painted in the colors of the vintage Prince Adam toy. Um, I would have liked for them, seems they did release a flocked Moss Man. It would have been nice to have his vest flocked. As you can tell, it is just a solid one piece. Piece of plastic, in fact, on the side. You can, it's not, you can see it's just, you know, not all there. Because you can actually take the head off and remove the vest. To where it's just a plain He-Man buck, repainted. So while this is a repainted He-Man figure, there, there, um, there is at least one new part, and that's his vest. Um, there is, there also is no storage spot for his sword. So just like the original vintage Prince Adam. Um, unfortunately, at least with the vintage, you can put the sword in his shirt. This one you cannot. He is stuck holding it. Uh, but he does come with the new base that says Prince Adam on the side. So, uh, it's really cool to have a new character. I wish it was a new sculpted character. Um, so many different characters. I know there's more coming. I know we're getting, um, I believe we're finally getting a, um, a, 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 a um, merman. Uh, and then because we're getting a new merman, we're going to get Stinkor, which is awesome. Uh, if we could just add uh, Snout Spout, Mantena, and uh, Real Blast in that mix, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, we're also getting some more... Um, Mini comic based characters like Stratos. So, we're going to get another repainted version of him. We're getting another repainted version of uh, the Sorceress. Uh, we're getting Battle Cat. We're also getting uh, Rotan. Uh, we're getting uh, Point Dread for the Castle Grey Skull playset here. Uh, all these on, are, are awesome. I can't wait to get all these. I think I mentioned Fisto. So many new characters. Um, so many vehicles and uh, new play sets, and it's just going to be a great time. So, all of these are available. They've been popping up at Walmart. So, these run for about five bucks a piece. Um, I say go ahead and grab them. They're totally worth it, especially if you're a completist. Do you want to get the entire line of these? These are available now. You do not have to wait for the new line of Mega Constructs Heroes. This is a um, Mega Constructs licensed line, much like their Pokemon and Halo lines. This is their new line, Masters of the Universe. So, there you go, my friends. Your look at the what I'm calling Wave 1 of the Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs new lineup here. Um, I am quite happy with these. For a Wave 1, this isn't bad. Um, I like it. I'm uh, really interested to see what Wave 2 uh, is going to be like. I uh, hope we get some really... Uh, honestly, with Wave 2, I'm really hoping we don't get another He-Man or Skeletor variant. I really don't. We just so many new characters. So many uh, characters that they could do with these. I'd like to see other characters. And yes, I'm aware that Mossman is also a repaint and a variant of Beastman, which we already have two of. So, all right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, we don't say goodbye. We say good journey.